Perry Max Snowbird to the RV Travelers, and we are here at Escape Trailers in Chilliwack, BC, and I'm with Reese Harmichuk. Reese, tell me what have we got behind us? So we're looking at our 17 foot uh, single axle, one of our popular for the smaller tow vehicles. 3,500 pound tow capacity is all that's required for towing this. Uh, it's good for young families, smaller two people. What we build is molded fiberglass. The misconception that it's two pieces just mechanically fast together, we're a little bit different. These are actually molded together oh. in the molds and they come out as a unibody. So this is purely cosmetic for us. What you see is almost our standard trailer that we build. Uh, comes with two uh, propane tanks. Uh, the front area here is ready if you want to add a storage box. Um, you know, flip up window, standard opening windows on the front sides, um, sliders. Back. For 2017 and on, this is the new look. Uh, we've gone to a flat door. Typical molded trailers have a molded door. Brings it up with a better quality fit and finish. The actual uh, wheel well is completely blasted in. Is right. that part of the unibody? It is. Um, so it's, we consider these a bathtub. Um, it's a full bottom, full top, um, fully uh, sealed off. So lots of times customers are concerned that these are going to get damaged with rocks. The only time we see that is if they change the tires to a more aggressive tread and tire. I noticed a couple of lights on the outside. I found a switch for it. So is all the lighting LED inside? Everything's LED inside, outside. Yes. Oh, the axle, we use torsion axles yeah. rather than spring axles on all of our products. Yeah. Uh, a little smoother ride. All right, Reese, let's have a look on the inside. Show me what kind of goodies you got in there right. in 17 foot. So inside, this is our most popular. We have two floor plans for the 17. Um, one with a bathroom, one without a bathroom. So with the bathroom, obviously more common. This table drops down to your main bed. It's a 52 inch wide bed. Um, and then again, now you've got the front dinette for two people. Um, you can drop that down and you can also order it with a bunk. So if you have, you know, children, you can have uh, two sleeping up front as well. Our market, you know, primarily is retirees, so they like to drop the table, leave it down, and then they've got the table available. Um, standard with a fridge, you can put a microwave in, um, you know, sink, stove, furnace, kind of all your amenities. Um, options are somewhat unlimited. I mean, you want air conditioning. A lot of our customers will ask for this to be instead of a table because it's always put down as a bed. They'll order it as a permanent bed. So right. instead of cushions, it's a it's a full mattress. Storage, I guess, all the way around the top. So now doubt there's storage underneath these seats. Yeah, so this one's completely empty. Um, what you're sitting on, you're sitting on the power center and the water heater and the pump. So there's not a lot of storage underneath that seat. So this one, um, you can put a hatch on from the outside if you want to use it from, oh. from the outside. If it's if it's a permanent bed, it's hard to access it from the inside. So people will order for put a door on the outside. Uh, microwave, would that go in above the fridge then? Yeah, so this cabin is microwave ready. So there's an outlet right. inside there. So whether you have a small one that fits in the cabinet or if you order it with a microwave, there is no door, it's, it's built in. And again, full uh, bathroom is full um, shower, toilet sink. Um, everything in there you know we've kind of found the happy balance between a decent sized kitchen a decent sized bed and a decent sized bathroom so if a person was to elect not to get the bathroom what happens to that space so essentially this space is the same to the kitchen and the, the fridge and then the front is a permanent bed so then you have a table that you would typically leave up um, a four-person table and then a, a 52 inch permanent bed up front all right, so we're settled now in the front dinette, but I can see what you mean now. So for two people, you could easily eat here on the dinette and leave the back set up as a bed. So, uh, you know, I can see those mornings where someone sleeps in a little bit later and the other person can still get up and have a nice cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah it works well for that. What have we got underneath the uh, cabinet next to your shoulder so there? The wardrobe cabinet. Oh, okay. Uh, lots of customers will put some shelves in there. And there's not a lot of hanging clothes people usually take, but we leave it open and you can always build it how you'd like it. Are these also, can you winterize the escape trailers so that it can be used for seasons? Or? So we would go as far as say we can make them a good three season trailer. Okay. You know, you can put double glazed windows in, um, we have an extra insulation package. Um, and again, you can, you can insulate the floor with a spray foam, which encloses all of the holding tanks. Right. 
Yeah, and I see you've got padded walls on the inside. The nice thing with that is, yeah, it's, it's easy clean. It's a vinyl. It's a pretty durable vinyl. Now, I, I see there's a nice color combination in here with the oak cabinets. Um, what can I do to customize this to make it my own? One of the things we offer is um, what you're seeing is our stock standard layout. It gives you a look, um, but if you don't like our top, um, pick off the, the wall and, you know, this is a Formica brand product, so the endless colors wow. for the counter. The flooring, uh, basically send us the flooring you'd like installed as long as it's it's a roll floor, not a not laminate or something. Right. Um, and the same with the cushions. You can, you can send us material, we'll, we'll build your cushions and your fabric. It's, we always look at it as it's your trailer, not ours. So why not build it the way you want it? You're up the bat. You're not stuck with buying what's sitting there on the lot. Right. And you did mention that briefly that uh, Escape Trailers is uh, is uh, manufacturer direct. So uh, I'm not going to find an Escape Trailer on a dealer's lot anywhere. Not unless it's used. Anybody in North America that's buying an art, um, Escape Trailer, yeah, either we deliver it or they drive here to pick it up. Okay. So walk, walk me yeah, through the Yeah, so the typical process is right. You you would um, get in touch with one of our salespeople. Um, they would send you a build sheet, like an order form. Um, you know, we've got a standard option, sort of standard features list that the trailer comes with, and then, you know, a fairly lengthy um, options list. Any of our U.S. customers, we have to export all of our trailers for them so that they don't pay our taxes. 80, 85% of our sales are heading to the U.S. So in order to satisfy my two-foot-itis, we've gone from the 17, and now we're in the 19, which is a nice spacious floor plan. Um, what's different in the floor plan here from the 17? Um, so to start with size wise we're obviously two feet longer this trailer is four inches wider four inches taller a um, couple inches you know just makes quite a difference yeah um, you can feel it. so this trailer comes standard with a, a permanent queen bed in the back of the trailer um, four-person dinette in the front a um, little larger bathroom a little larger kitchen it's just you know just this is probably one of our most popular sellers just because yeah. the bed, the table, everything kind of fits. So we're 2950 dry, um, again a 5,000 pound tow capacity on a vehicle. These things will average running down the road, um, we'll say loaded up and heading for the lake. Um, we see quite average, 38, 3900 pounds loaded. Um, that's easy for a 5,000 pound tow capacity. Yeah. Um, so again, for what, what you have for the layout, uh, works well for customers. Um, and then too, in here, you can see the, the new maple look for 2019. Mm, yeah. um, so this is our standard look. Um, we haven't changed the cushions, but um, this is our standard counter material. Flooring's a little darker, and then of course with the lighter wood finish. Is it an upgrade over oak now, or is that the same price? You just pick whichever one you want. Right, so for 2019, we'll offer both. Kitchen faucets and sinks, um, are there options for those? Uh, I noticed I've seen some different faucets, I think. Yeah, so this is new for 2019, that, that faucet, um, same sink, same cooktop. But, you know, again, we have some customers that um, want a specific cooktop. Um, if it fits in our install process, we'll inst you know, send it to us, we'll put it in. Same with sinks. Wow. As long as you can stay within the parameters, send it to us, we'll install it. Nice. We're at the 21 foot now. And I see a couple of things I didn't see in the uh, in the 19. Uh, can you talk to us about the covers and the storage? Yeah. So this is this comes down with the trailer, the cover, but this is our uh, optional storage box uh, in front of the trailer. So um, popular with customers. It's got gravel protection, and then of course you've got um, you know ample storage in there for all the wet things that uh, rather than put them in the trailer. So I see that we've got some different colors on the outside for graphics. What's our options in here? This is our standard graphics yeah. package, and you know, the nice thing about it is it's your trailer. Whatever <laughs> color you'd like. Uh, honestly, the only color we haven't done is pink. We've done every color otherwise. So, but you know, whether you're trying to match a, a vehicle or it's your favorite color, um, for us it's just it's a graphic. Right. We have to put something on, so why not put the color you would like on? Now, aside from Colors can I actually pick a different graphic. Yeah, so some of our customers will say they're football fans and yeah. they got their favorite team. Yeah, definitely sometimes just adding some extra flair. Many of our customers will put some sort of little saying on the back of the trailer. Um, you know, 
we'll see purple graphics and we'll see the name of the trailer is the Great Escape. And lots of times we see it in some other language, so it's a great conversation starter at the campground. Of well, let's go inside and have a look at the floor plan. Okay. This trailer is four inches wider than the than the 19 foot um, and two feet longer. Options wise, we've put an oven in this one. They come with the two burner cooktop, which you can upgrade to an oven. We've put a U shaped dinette back here rather than a bench seat. So again, you know, preference whether you want lounging type area. We see a lot of times people will ask to not install the table. We'll, we'll give it to them and all the hardware, but they'll leave it at home and they'll put a couple of flip ups here. So they've got kind of drink tables, mm -hmm. but more of a lounge area. So this trailer, this is our largest bumper pull trailer. So, you know, um, you know, reasonable dinette, um, you know, now we've got a larger kitchen area, a little bit larger bathroom, more storage, you know, you've seen in the 19 foot, it's a side to side full queen. Uh, people like that, but they don't necessarily like the crawl over. Um, so this, we, we tried to get a, um, as close to a north south as we could. So Reese, I noticed there's a bumper hitch on the back here. Is that standard on all of the yes. models? Yeah. So we would call, I'll call that our bike rack. Reese, you made a comment earlier about, um, the, the RV being almost like a bathtub. It's a completely sealed unit. So is it a fiberglass wrap, like right across the bottom? Right, so so these are uh, again like we call them a, a tub, if you will. Yeah. Um, so when they come out of the mold, they are a full bubble, less the door opening. And so where we're a little more unique is we've designed the trailer that if it gets water inside, they will drain out. So let's assume your window's going to leak. Um, basically, uh, we've made it to it'll allow it to water to run right down the edge. Um, and then there's the floor in the trailer actually runs right around this height. So there's actually a little pontoon area below the floor. So in between the wall and the floor, there's drain holes drilled all the way in, or all the way around, about every three, four inches. So water gets underneath that area, and then there's another main drain in the bottom of the pontoon. So if water gets in, water gets out. Um, the gel coat that we use on the trailers, it is the best gel coat available on the market today. Um, it's some of the most expensive gel coat. Um, this is 2017 and up that we've started using this. Uh, it has UV inhibitors in it, so it's less likely to fade, uh, chalk up. I like the look of the 21 foot uh, fifth wheel. Now, just for starters, right away, I noticed that this is the Dometic awning that's opened up. Push a button comes out, they have a built-in wind sensor, so if it's too windy, it automatically closes, so... Uh, oh, nice. No worries about that. And then again, it's torsion axle. Um, much smoother ride uh, for a fifth wheel. And I noticed that we don't have the regular uh, steel wheels. Yeah, so another option we offer for upgrade is, is the aluminum mag wheel. The windows, um, you can see the, the frameless windows these are these are double glazed windows and can i get those in any of the escape trailers yes yeah. well let's take a walk inside it's, it's quite popular we kind of you know nailed it with this one if you will um you know we don't do slides in any of our trailers um, we, we don't have any failing slides or leaks from them there's not many small fifth wheels in the market to start with never mind you know quality built um being molded fiberglass you way less chance of leaks if, if there's any, ever going to be one. Um, we've got a full queen size bed up top. As far as uh, the bed goes in the front and maybe even any of the others, are there a choice of mattresses? No, we use a premium 8 inch coil mattress. So um, it's got a pillow top on top. So it's not your typical 3, 4, 5 inch Good coiled enough. camper mattress. Um, you know, again, you know, our customers are paying a little bit more for our product. We want to make sure that, you know, we're not skimping out on a, on a mattress. You know, it comes with a good, good size fridge, six cubic foot, um, you know, and, and plenty of storage. Again, our market is two people, retirees. So for two people, it's a nice, it's a nice fit. Um, you know, you can see this is our standard bench layout. You know, you can do like in the 21 with the, the u shape lounge type setup. Okay. Um, this trailer's got an oven in it, um, but you can kind of put in, you know, again, configure it how you'd like. Customers have commented that it's nice when they back into a site, the table is at the back where you typically have your, you know, your view 
Um, so our 21 and our fifth wheel, we've really focused on that. Yeah, and these are these are great trailers to hook up and, and tour the country with. Reese, thank you very much for taking us around and showing us the escape trailers. It's impressive. These are bespoke trailers. This is custom. I can get exactly what I want. And I know you didn't come out and say it, but I think my grandkids could probably inherit the trailer that I buy from you guys. So thank you very much for taking the time today and showing us the trailers. Thank you.